Andre, it broke. What happened? Ah, oh, the truck, Rusty Boy, it's broken. No, 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 no. Rusty Boy will live forever. Hey dude! What is this? This is a brand new 2017 BMW 530i and we have it this week to review on the Fastlane Car Channel. Well, the 1974 Ford F250 may be dead. It started popping through the carburetor, backfiring. It's just not running well. It was above my pay grade to figure it out. So we're gonna go pick it up right now. Apparently it's fixed. It's out the shop. Yikes. Are you talking about Rusty Boy, the high boy? Yeah, Rusty Boy, my high boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Rusty Boy will live forever. I'm very confident at this and I think it will run. That's... I'm up in this thing. What a monster. Look at him. Look at it. Sitting proudly. So, what do you think? Is it running? What's the deal? Hey, what's going on? Devin, how are you? Good, how are you? So, did you figure out what was wrong with it? Well, here are your parts right here. Oh, wowzer. Look at that, so that's the push rod. Yeah, and that's the lifter. That's crazy. So lack of lubrication, I'm guessing there was either a defect on the camshaft or... Or something like that? Something so like it'll that. happen again, it's, it's... Yeah, this is a, uh, a band-aid, essentially. Andre, look at this, uh... What is this? Push rod, that's the push rod. That's your push rod? Yeah, that should be straight. That's kind of bent. That was the exhaust valve on number four, I believe, the last cylinder. And uh, the intake valve is actually the one that had the bent push rod. So these were both on the same cylinder, but this was the exhaust and this was the intake. So I was mm. thinking this bore down wasn't allowing the valve to open, and you know the intake was trying to open to against open the compression. Wow! Well, I've never seen one worn down like that. That's pretty. Well, there's the first time for everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've got the damage here. Um, now Devin's been great to us. He runs Devin's Car Care here in Boulder, Colorado and the total comes to $571.06. He did give me a little bit of a break on some labor, which was very kind of him. We also replaced the transmission seal around the pan because I was all Indiana Jones, I'm gonna fix it myself, and I boogered up the seal, and I couldn't get it to seal right, and it was a pain in the butt. So that was $110 of that. But let's see if it runs, let's see if it stopped backfiring through the carburetor. Oh, other thing, too. Right now, after we see if it runs, Andre, Ken, and I, we went and checked out a new bed for this truck. Let me show you that video next. It purrs like a kitten. Runs great. So I don't know how long this fix is gonna last, if it's gonna last long at all. Um, Devin said that the push rod is not entirely actuating the valve because something on the cam, like the lobe is worn down. Whatever, I don't care, it's running right now. We'll get to that when that happens, but good to be back in old Rusty Boy. It's been too long. Running well. Hey guys, welcome to a miserably cold Colorado afternoon. Um, I'm here with my bro, Hank. We're here at Ken's house because we're picking up a trailer and we're going to go take a look at a new bed for the F-250 Highway because ours is completely rusted out. Are we going out in the middle of nowhere? Do I need to bring weapons? Do uh, I need to bring something? I don't think it's that middle of nowhere, but uh, you know, Evans, Colorado. Why? Why? Who are you? Let's go get the bed. We are oh. getting the bed. We're waiting for you. Let's go out in the middle of nowhere in Evans, Colorado. It says there's a winter storm coming. So what? You got four wheel drive? You got a no, tank. No problem, no problem. This Armada is gonna do it. That's okay, Kent. This truck tows 8,500 pounds. Holy cow. We'll be towing about 1,500 pounds. <laughs> 1,500 pounds, yeah. So actually, Andre, you can just run behind us and pull the trailer. We don't need no stinking truck. Okay, but this will be faster and more comfortable. That's what you say. Andre, the heck are you drinking? I got some 
NOS. NOS, high performance energy drink. Whoa. This looks off. Can you believe this man over here, Kent Sundling, drinks NOS? That is not a combination I was expecting there. But Kent is a wild man. He, he's, he's, he's awesome at everything he does. He has a website, he sells parts, he tows trailers, he takes care of a horse, and, and everything else. He does everything. The resolution is not the best on this camera, but it still allows me to back up and it's turning yellow. It's turning yellow and he's raising it. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Trey, we got you it. just crashed into the trailer. We got it. That was a perfect match. <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> what are you doing? About to pull the trailer up to him. Did we get it? Yeah, yeah. Right into my trailer, bounce crap all over the place. Left blinker, right blinker, brakes, lot of lizard lights. It works. How are we going to look at it in the rain, guys? This is a. Uh... Well, we're going to look at it fast. So we're going to negotiate it long. <laughs> yes. Well, Make actually, sure the guy's cellar is wet. Yes. We'll get back in the truck and roll a window down and talk to him from inside. He'll go, come on, yeah, I'll drop another hundred bucks. Just get the hell out of here. Good cop, good cop bad cop. And then yes. you and Tommy can load it on there. I'll show you where to put the straps. I'll signal from the, from the cab. Oh, no. All right, Guys, look, um, I have a warning message here that the front radar is obstructed by snow. Wow. So my adaptive cruise control is not working. Can we drive without radar? Yes. yes. We're, this is not a plane. Yeah. Okay, so well, we lose our instrumentation, <laughs> we're blind. <laughs> okay, so we've been having this issue where the, the park parking sensors are being blocked by snow, and, and, and it won't keep stop beeping. beeping. And so. I turn it off, and it, and, but it comes back on. I know it. That's because it's still snowing. The oh. snow keeps covering the sensor. Tommy, look at this. It's still going. Can, can you show that? Can you yeah. show that? So, so this is what's happening. Is it's blocked, but Andre, Andre well, can't figure out how to permanently turn it off. I can okay. temporarily now, do it. That's not adaptive. <laughs> is that adaptive cruise that's control? No, it's sensors. parking sensors. Okay, then there should be a parking sensor button somewhere else. What do you call them? Smoky, smoky lizard or something? No, <laughs> these are these are smoky. And if he's got lights and he's got all this, the decals, he's called the Tijuana taxi. Tijuana taxi. Tijuana taxi. This is trucker terms. Yeah, if he had like a brown car with hidden lights, shush, he'd be called a smoky shush. and a plain brown wrapper. <laughs> say it again. <laughs> if he had like a plain vehicle and say, say it's brown. Oh yeah. And has the hidden flashing lights. He's called a smoky and a plain brown wrapper. The first thing I did when I saw the bed was measure to see if it was the same mounting position as mine. However, there was an issue. You see, High Boys had a narrower frame than a traditional two-wheel drive F250. Therefore, the mounting holes were in different locations. This bed, however, had the original Ford mounting points further out from the center, meaning that this was a bed originally on an F-250 two-wheel drive, and someone had adapted this bed by drilling narrower holes to fit a high boy. That's the original one right there. Yeah. See, right there is some work done on it right there. That's not... There's metal again. bit of a dent right there, huh? Yeah, there's like a hole there. I don't think it's a high boy bed. It's yeah, I don't I don't think it is either. Uh, somebody's modified it to fit a high boy frame. At some point. Yeah, at some right. point. So, I mean, you may not even, since you're just starting your search, you may not even want to do this, but I'm just saying if you want it off from like $200, it's up to you. It might be worth it. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to have more parts around, but if you don't want to just wait, that's up to you. It's not what you're looking for. You got time, so you don't yeah. Have to... My thing too is I don't know if if whoever drilled it if they if they drilled the holes in the right place exactly. So <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, you don't want to keep drilling holes in it. Right, so I don't want to make a project Swiss cheese here. Yeah, really, Swiss cheese bed, there you go. Um, so, you know, I, I don't even know if it's worth... Well, no, no no problem, I'm just suggesting it to you, but no, you do what you well, want I to do. Well, I feel bad for dragging you all the way out well, here. Well, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to die today, so I wouldn't worry about that. Just buy me some coffee and a pie. Okay, well, let's go get coffee and pie. <laughs> I'm so happy, guys, we got pie. This is a country cafe. This is what real truckers and real farmers eat. Big chunks of pie, big chunks of homemade ice cream. What'd you get there? That's like a this massive is coconut, pie. And this is a something blueberry cheesecake. Cheesecake I ice cream? Yeah, There's it's no homemade. Way. I got blueberry pie with some chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, no, no, this is how you do it. Vanilla, homemade vanilla ice cream, apple pie. Who buys mm. vanilla ice cream? I mean, who does that? Thank, thank you once again for all your help in this. That was, no I really, really appreciate that. And I'm sorry it didn't work out, but... Oh, don't worry about it. This is how it is. I just want to do it really right. So guys, <laughs> guys, here's my question. Where are the Rocky Mountain oysters? Hey, we are going to find those. Mm -hmm. those, know, are, those are special. Some people may not know. Special. Some people may not know what that is. Well, it's kind of like our book. The Truck Nuts book? Yeah. You kind of think about that. You eventually figure out <laughs> what we're about to eat. Yes. <laughs> We're enjoying our Rocky Mountain oysters. You like truck nuts, but they're a little different. <laughs> they're they're bowl nuts. Tasty little bowl nuts. The bag going. Like mm. chicken? Mm. Mm. Better than chicken. Thank you guys for watching, though. Uh, I really appreciate the support. Uh, hope you like this new format. It's kind of vlog style. We're just trying new things. Let us know. Um, let me know. I'm <laughs> I'm the editor here. All right, guys. Let's get let's get out of here. Okay. Okay. Trucky McTruck face. <laughs> yeah, Trucky McTruck face. <laughs> was pulled over.